All right, we're going to do a real basic project here to help a friend out with an issue he's working with. I'm going to take some liberties with the design and uh, go from there. For instance, I'm going to put a fillet on there, just a small one, 0.125. That'll allow us to clear it with a quarter inch ball mill. Um, the outside profile will probably be turned on a lathe, but it could be done any of a number of ways. The, the rest of this we're going to uh, do on the mill, possibly, because of some difficulties of turning it on the lathe, unless you have a live uh, tool lathe with multiple axis live tools, but that's not what we're getting into right now. We're talking about being able to do it with a basic machine. Anyway, we'll use the uh, lathe rotate tool. Just select that. Select the line we're going to rotate it around, and now we have our 3D solid. And uh, let's just rotate this and take a look at it. So you can see we got our hollow base. And a lot of times that might be all you ever need to make the part. But in this case, he wants veins around this inside hollow right here, so that's what we're going to do next. All right, I'm going to hide that now, and I'm going to hide these lines that I don't need because they'll just confuse things. Well, that I don't need right this minute. Now, I'm going to zoom in right here to make sure I get this right. And I'm going to put a little line right here that goes from here to here. And then I'm going to create an offset. doesn't have to be much. We just want to intersect the solid. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Oh. Ah. Hold on. Let's hide the stuff we don't. Let's select it one piece at a time manually. Might be easier. I see that doesn't work on this. Okay. Not a problem. There's another way to do it. All we're trying to do is create a solid to put veins in that that is larger than the gap in the object we created a minute ago. All right, that'll work. Now, say we want that to be a quarter of an inch thick. So we just Hit our extrude, we set it to 0.25, and then we select everything that creates the closed shape. And we have our quarter inch thick solid. Um, show all curves. Trim off our solid so it's uniform with the rest of our stuff. Now, that's not going to be centered on the axis of the part just yet. Here, let me show you. See it? It's going to be offset. So what we want to do is take that part and move it down minus 0.125. Now it's centered on the axis of the, axis of the part. Next thing I might want to do, since I want well, I'm just going to make four of them because it'll be easier. But, you, well, six, four, doesn't matter. Oh, he wants six veins in his part. So, Control-C, Control-V, 
and then our rotate tool we want to rotate it around the y-axis 60 degrees and then we want to select our point to rotate it around or we want to rotate it around zero control C control V control C control V All right, now we have all our veins. Let's uh, show all solids. And as you can see, we now have veins in the base of our part. If we want to make this all one part, we then use the Boolean Add tool. Select that. Alright, we now have a complete part. One piece, solid, that has everything we need. Now there's one other thing we might want to do, depending on, on how we're going to be manufacturing this part, um, if, or if we're going to be manufacturing it using multiple different methods, we may want to do this for consistency from one part to the next, and that's to add a fillet to those insides because you can't cut a square corner with a round tool. So we'll stick with 0.125 and we'll see how that works out. I'm going to hide the work plane now make it a little easier to see this. Alright, oop, one more. Always take another look. Now we have a part we can turn the outside of and the central core of on the lathe, and then we can chuck it up on the mill and machine out these pockets right here using a 3D operation. Now it'd be nice to have um, some nice clean outlines of these for machining. So we're going to do something to create those. Um, on some CAM software, you could just take off from the solid part that you export, but we're going to be using CAMBAM, which uses STL files, and that doesn't always come out as cleanly as we might like. So I found this little trick helps me create something that I can use in CAMBAM to create those lines for those limits. Now let's hide this and you'll see we have this part here. That's actually a one thousandth inch thick solid part but we're going to use it to generate lines and we know they're going to be clean lines because of the way we created it. So let's export that. File, export, Let's create a new folder for it because I don't want this in a customer folder. Base outline. And we might want to make the normal deviation a little lower just so we get a little more precision. All right. Show all solids. Select that one, File, Export, 
selected only. Okay. Same thing, give ourselves a little more precision. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Takes a second. And open up Cam Bam. Ah, oh, the joys of not having the fastest computer in the world. All right. I used Cam Bam on my other screen, that's why you didn't see it come up. All right. Then we're going to import. Oop, oh, wrong folder. We're going to import the base, and then we're going to import that uh, base outline. Now at this point, this isn't really the orientation we're going to want to work with it to machine, so I want to rotate it. should be fairly easy. We've got both objects. We want to at rotate them around the x-axis. I think it's minus 90 degrees. All right, there we go. Now we're looking at the that base part. I like to create separate layers for this stuff at this point. So it allows me to show and hide stuff easily. Remember that little piece that we created a little while ago? Edit, Surface, Silhouette. And we can even delete that part at this point. And if you look, we now have lines of, for every part of the bottom of that that we can use to constrain our machining to create that part or to machine that part. Um, that's basically it. At this point, we'd use a 3D operation most likely to machine that shape, and we'd go from there.